Welcome back to Fashionable Father. I'm Timothy Sands and subscribe if you're so inclined. Today we're talking about glasses, a little Warby Parker try on and also why fashion glasses for men should be a normal thing in my opinion. Anyone who has worn glasses before knows that finding the right shape and finding the right uh, size for your face, all this can be kind of difficult and I'm not gonna get into that, so, so sorry about that. However, Orby Parker and the lady that helped me blew my mind. Um, they have a, a low bridge designed and it's pretty much for people with a, a big schnoz. And, but they, she told me that that's what I should be looking at when I shop glasses. So singing the praises of this uh, awesome lady up at Warby Parker who helped me kind of figure out what I, uh, what looks good on my face and all that good stuff. I couldn't make a decision while I was up there. So I got the um, five pair from Warby Parker and let's go ahead and try some of these on, huh? So the first pair are these bad boys. Uh, these are the Vaughn. They're uh, kind of a dark top and a blue color, blue with gray on the bottom. And I like them. I like the square look. I have to admit, I'm not used to this. They uh, they fit really well, and I think they're a uh, low bridge design. Um, so, you know, good for that. Next pair is very, very similar. These are Benson's, um, more of a gray color. Ridiculously similar. And, and I think I like the color on the first one a little better, but again, square a little bigger than I'm used to. They fit my face really, really well. These are a gray stone color. All right. The next one, I had to go rogue. I had to go rogue. I was looking, I had five that I could try on. So I decided to go with something that I usually would never pick out. <laughs> Some nice little gold frames. Some little gold frames, look at those bad boys. Now I feel like this is kind of a thing right now, especially how big they are. However, the wife said I look like a uh, old molester. So that's not good, right? I. I kind of like them just because they're so different, and but I don't know if I can rock them, and I think the wife will laugh at, laugh at me every time I put them on. So I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna rock these. What is it like a cubicle worker from the 1980s movie Nine to Five or something? I always like round frames, and these are ones I could try on in this color. I like round glasses, but I don't know if I can rock these just because they're a little too slim but and the wife thinks they're too narrow and the color's a little bold so i couldn't try on the other color that they that's available which is more of a tannish color but a darker tan and i like these i like these and i think they would look good if they were just a little less bold a little less of a bold color um what do you think uh tell me in the comments below before I show you the last pair and the pair that my wife likes and the pair that I'm used to and I like too as well that make me just look good, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I think fashion glasses for men is of the utmost importance and I think everyone should experience such. So there are two things that I need to tell you for this to make sense. One of them is the Clark Kent philosophy. Yes, Clark Kent as in Superman. But first I have to tell you how I came to this conclusion. When I first moved to Los Angeles, I was a bouncer slash doorman. I was desperate for a job and Megan, who was my girlfriend at the time, got me this job at this swanky lounge pretty close to Beverly Hills. I'm coming in at uh, probably a buck 60 wet. So I'm not exactly the stature or the physique for a doorman, but I was desperate. So I took the job and I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot about confrontation. Not only did I not have the physique for the job, but I also hated confrontation. Like I avoided confrontation like the plague. And to add to that problem, I also wore these. Yeah, some nice little gold frames that I like to call Benjamin Franklin glasses. Yeah, this didn't exactly work in my favor. In the first weekend, I think the best thing I was called was four eyes. Um, I look Jewish. No, I am not, but I do appear so. And so I also got some anti-Semite uh, insults thrown my way. I got a lot of insults thrown my way at that job. But I learned 
a lot about confrontation, also a lot about how you come across in those situations. I did learn one very important thing that can overcome your size, and actually it's very important for any confrontation, and that is perceived power. When people perceive that you have power, whether it's fake or real, they will question their actions. Now, there are two things that you can present power with. One is obviously stature. So size comes into play, but you can overcome it just by having a physical stance. And I can get into that and that's a whole nother video, but right now I'll just recommend this book, um, uh, What Your Body Is Saying. And now, one of the other very important things are your eyes. When you look into someone's eyes, when you hold their gaze, you are matching their wits. But this can be very difficult when you are wearing glasses. And I learned this when I got my first pair of contacts. I put the glasses on the bench. I went to work thinking very little of my physical change. So it took me a few months and I suddenly started to realize people were treating me with a lot more respect, especially when I was working at the door at the bar. And I didn't really understand at first why, but I realized that people could see my eyes. I could hold their gaze in a much more powerful way. So I put two and two together to equal four eyes aren't always better. See, see what I just did there? So I finally moved up the bar ladder and became a bartender. And I realized I had to shift my customer service because I still had this like confrontational persona from the door and I couldn't carry that into the bar. But even though I did change my attitude, people still could see like the impatience and the frustration on my face. So I decided to put the glasses back on and suddenly people couldn't see my impatience. They're like a shield. They're like a mask. Plus people in glasses appear nicer and let's admit it, smarter. So what worked against me at the door worked for me as a bartender. And that my friends is what I call the Clark Kent philosophy. I'm not the first to note that Superman does not wear a mask when he is in his cape, but he only wears one when he's trying to blend in with the normal Joes by wearing a suit, a fedora, and some glasses. He does this to make himself look slightly awkward and smart. Both these things are symbols that will take away from being brawny and physical. So I think a lot of people could benefit from this. I think almost anybody in any field should put on a pair of fashion glasses just for the experiment, just to see how people treat you. I think salespeople, guys in the finance field, lawyers would totally benefit from this, right? Anybody in the service industry, in conclusion, I think fashion glasses for men, actually fashion glasses for anyone, would totally be something worth looking into, especially if you have never worn glasses before in your life. It's interesting to be able to put on a mask or a, a shield, if you will, that can hide maybe some of your emotions, hide some of your impatience, or just make you come across as someone who's welcoming and smart and not threatening. All right, finally, with no further ado, I think I'm probably gonna end up getting these. I'm still a little torn between these and the Percy's, as I said. These are Greystone Color um, Wilkie. Wilkie, um, you know, super rectangle. They fit my face really well. They're not super square and big. I might end up with these. I kind of hope I end up with the Percy's. Again, comment below which one's your favorite, Wilkie or Percy. Fashionable father here. Like the video if you agree with the Clark Kent philosophy. If you do not agree with it, don't hit the dislike button. Comment below, let's start a conversation. Tell me why you think fashion glasses are horrible. Subscribe if you're so inclined. And yeah, check out some of the videos. Come join the party. We have a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, I like to talk about parenting. I like to talk about fashion and you know, all that cool stuff. So join me on this little ride. All right. And always remember, style first. I got some awesome help from the young lady working here at Old Warby Parker. And these are my favorite right now. And even better, she actually put them on my, on my email. And, and uh, yeah, so now I can just favor them later because I'm running out of time. I've got to get home and take care of Arthur. So I might have to come back up.